If you attend this week's Howard Wood Dakota Relays in Sioux Falls, be sure to stop by the booth man by 79-year-old George Kiner. The retired Sioux Valley basketball coach will be selling copies of his sports books he's compiled through the years. In this evening's Positively Kevin Land, Perry Groton shares how the books are helping athletes facing medical challenges. George Kiner will stop short of telling you he's a walking encyclopedia of South Dakota high school sports history. I should be, but my memory is going to pot. Kiner has compiled and edited 18 books of South Dakota sports history, filled with stories, statistics, and scores stretching back decades. I fish a lot, but you can't fish 24 hours out of the day. So this gives me a lot. This gives me something to do. Kiner is a founder of the nonprofit Coaches Against Cancer, and proceeds from the sales of his books help athletes and their families struggling with medical problems. For Kiner, the cause is personal. His close friend, sports referee Dave Prohl, died of cancer nearly 20 years ago. When he was fighting his cancer, we went over to visit him to Rochester. And you go in there and, I mean, that's an eye-opener. Little babies that are on radiation treatment. This is the basketball court where Kiner coached the Sioux Valley Cossacks throughout the 1970s and 1980s. His legacy of helping students succeed in the game of life remains strong to this day. When you go to, to the state tournaments or the, the Howard Wood Dakota Relays or the state track meet, uh, you know you're probably going to see Coach Kiner. He'll, he'll be there with his, his stand of, of books, memory books that, uh, that people love. Kiner says sales through the years have generated $300,000 for charities. His passion for sports and for generosity is one for the history books. So anything you can do to, to help people out, it's just a good thing to do. With Positively Kelloland, I'm Perry Grove. Kenner's booth will be set up under the South Bleachers at Howard Wood Field both tomorrow and Saturday. Each book costs $20. If you can't make it to the Dakota Relays, we have information on how you can order a book on this story on Kevaland.com. Well, coming up, there are plenty of ways.